Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is me, the iTech HQ. It's been a while. I've been a lot busy with school and exams. However, I'm back. I'm a lot less busy now. So let's take a look at what's on my iPhone. So I changed my setup a lot since last time I made this video, which was back in December. So now, basically, I've got two page setups. So I've got all my main used apps on the top on the first page, and I've got all the folders on the second page. So let's take a look at all the apps now on the first page so i've got all the default apple apps i've got facebook mail messenger youtube and i've got the facebook uh page manager as well and i actually manage a page as well which is the grand tour around and it's a fan page go ahead and like it if you want i will leave a link down below in the description then i've got the google search app then i've got insta paper which is a read it later client sort of like that and you can read a lot of stuff you can, you can save articles to read later um, it's probably my favorite read client, uh, read it later client, and I really do like it a lot. So that's Instapaper. Then I've got Google Maps, WhatsApp, and I've got Calendar 5, which is another brilliant uh, calendar app, and I mainly use this for creating new events. It's also got a pretty neat notification center widget as well, so I use that as well. Next, I've got Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at madebyon. I regularly post photos of my travels and all that, so go ahead and check it out over there. Then I've got Reddit and Podcast app. Now, on the dock, you can see I've got four apps, and basically I've got Messages, Safari, Tweetbot, which is my favorite Twitter client, and then I've got Spark, which is a pretty decent email client as well. Now, on the second page, I've got all the folders. The first one is the Apple crap folder. Let's just leave it like there. Then I've got social and over here I've got the YouTube Creative Studio, Skype, Snapchat, Periscope and then Twitter's official um, client as well for iOS. Then I've got photography. Now over here in photography I've got VSCO, Over and then I've got Enlight. Now Enlight is probably my favorite photography application. I use Enlight basically to edit all of my photos on Instagram. And it's just brilliant. So as you guys can see over here, I've got a lot of options. So you can basically, you know, change the color. Color correction is brilliant. You can even change. The, you can have the background as black and white, and the object on the foreground as you know colored. So it's very powerful. It's for four dollars, so it's a bit pricey. However, if you really and truly, um, you know, wanted to increase your Instagram game, then go ahead and get this app. It's just brilliant. Then I've got 500 pixels layout and then Retrica as well. Next, I've got entertainment. Over here, I've got VLC, Shazam, SoundCloud, and I've got Musi. Now, Musi is basically like a YouTube app. Basically, allows you to watch YouTube videos, but then you can also listen uh, to that YouTube video uh, at the background. So it's just like a music streaming service, but it looks, but works pretty nice as well. Next, I've got sports and games, and over here I've got Line Zen, Arrow, and Color. These are only three games I play. Then I've got Yahoo Sports and ESPN Cricket Info. They've got a very nice widgets for notification center, and I use the widgets for scores and fixtures and all that. Then I've got utilities. Well, this is pretty much all the random apps that I use. So I've got Tunnel Bear, Workflow, Dropbox, Pages, Speed Test, Mac ID, Scanner Pro, which is a lifesaver. Really love this app. Then I've got One Password. Chrome, Analytics, QR code, Evernote, Gboard, all that. Now let's take a look at Gboard. Now Gboard is probably my favorite third-party keyboard for iOS available currently, and this is actually from Google. It allows you to have all the swipe gestures and all that. Also, it's a pretty quick keyboard as well. It also allows you to search for um, images and GIFs uh, right from the keyboard, which is very sweet. So guys, that's pretty much it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the new website i tweaked it a lot uh, yesterday so go and check it out and that's it, ladies and gentlemen hope you guys enjoyed the video catch you guys in the next one bye bye